I'm with Chris Chislett today, the wine guy, and we're we got what the heck, man? We got a bunch of all stuff. All kinds of gadgets. All kinds of gadgets. Just, what are yeah. we doing, man? We need to do just a big gadget episode, don't we? Well, we well this is this is a good we'll, start, we'll, right? We're we'll starting start low. And okay, we'll, we'll work start, our way up. Start from the bottom. Right, now we're here. Cool. This is where uh, we're gonna do aerating versus decanting. Okay. Like, what's the difference? Okay, we hear you know sometimes. The idea is to put air in it, right? See, yeah. Well, yeah. The the idea. I mean, in a restaurant, normally they'll decant the wine. Right. It's a little bit more kind of showy, table side service, fine dining kind of thing. The um, aerator. Think about more instant at gratification. Yeah, that's at me. Home. Instant gratification, Mr. baby. Instant now. Gratification. Yeah. Right yeah. Exactly. So a little bit older wines. Right. Typically, you'll uh, you get you know you get all that gunk in the bottom. The, the crap. Sediment, I call it the crap. Little crap in the, the, crap yeah, in the bottom. Got to make sure it comes out. Yeah. The so mainly with red yeah. wines, yeah, you kind of slowly pour it in, and um, so that's what you know. Yeah. Decanting's for. And we and say the red wines, but we got a white wine here. And we're going to we do that. Do. Is that that seems odd? I know, right? Yeah. Well, so does is that what is that normal? No, the actual reason um, that I did this, people think about decanting aerate and they only think about red wines. Right. Well, really, a lot of the times white wines would benefit from it as right. well. It's just most people don't really think to do it. That's the uh, Gary Ferrell Chardonnay that we um, have big, done. Full yeah, bodied, yeah, yeah, nice. You know, it's, um, okay, it's big. Well, you know, higher alcohol right. in your face, oaky. Um, that would definitely benefit from aerating, but okay. people don't. Th people think more red wine. So, so yeah. So, so how does that work? A little yeah. demo here. Show me. So this is the. Um, there are a million and one wine gadgets on the market. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I've so, seen about a million variations. So on that's that. the. Uh, that's the soiree. It's about soiree. Twenty-two like to twenty-five dollars. Yeah, yeah, cool. Exactly. Yeah. So twenty-two to twenty-five dollars uh, retail. Nice. This is a. Uh, I mean, this looks is a, like a Christmas decoration. Yeah, well, that's the benefit. You know, okay, gotcha. Looks, yeah. looks kind of cool hanging on well the tree while you're, while you're doing it. So <laughs> there's the Venturi, this is the Soiree. There's a million and yeah. one different gadgets. But the the deal with this is, I like this because it actually fits in the bottle. Right. So there's not you're not holding something and oh, trying to pour through, through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the you don't have to have that is, silly stand and all those things. Yeah, to try to sell it's you. too much for me. It's, <laughs> yeah. But with this, so you can actually just hold it and uh, and actually completely invert it, and it's like glug 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 glug. Nice. A little bit on the table, nah. it's always a benefit. And so, yeah, so that's how that works. Which okay. It just, it's putting more air into More air. You know, it's making it immediate enjoyment kind of kind of stuff. Just ready to rock, ready to, to, to drink right now. Exactly, exactly. But if you decant it, how long should you wait before you start drinking the wine once you pour it in there? Very good question, Joe. You're getting good at these questions. I'm, so, I, yeah, you know, that was an intelligent I've question. I've done this once. It just threw me off. <laughs> threw Sorry. Me off altogether. What's the answer? Well, it's it again. It's kind of it's kind of difficult, all right? If you're if you're decanting a red wine, normally if I'm putting it into a decanter, I'll kind of swirl it around, and right. I mean, you know, like five minutes. Oh, you know? okay. Like, I mean, really, it can be really quick if you actually you right. don't actually have to kind of sit there. Right. You can actually pretty much immediate enjoyment still with the. Uh, decanter. Right. I mean, you can get kind of vigorously, you know, kind of swish it around the decanter. So you can get aggressive with the yeah, swirl, people basically. Have this idea get that your swirl on. Get your swirl on. And <laughs> people have this idea that you, you need to let wine sit and let oh, it breathe. Oh, well, they're, and all they're those of, fancy people we don't really care well, about too much. That. And, <laughs> and this is what we're doing here. Is right. We're letting it breathe by doing that. So Now, I'm, I'm going to, I did some research when you told me about what we were going to do today. Go on. I'm going to have a drink. Now, on, on, on the red wine side, there's a guy named Tim Ferriss. He, he wrote the book, Four Hour Work Week. And one okay. of the things that he did mm -hmm. was he used a ninja. Ninja. He okay. poured the wine oh, yeah. in there. And he went, <laughs> and it frothed up. And evidently, I haven't tried it myself, it worked really well. Interesting story. And we're going to go off on That's a tangent. Fine. I love like a 10, 15 minute segment. That's right? fine. So it's called hyper decanting. I just talked about hyper decanting. hyper decanting. Didn't even know that. About three years ago, I uh, I wrote a story um, on it for April Fools as an April Fools joke. Quartermaster Sommiers is introducing hyper decanting as part of their course syllabus, and I made like a list of like but five, it's five real. fake questions. The Quartermaster Sommiers actually. <laughs> I did like a little bit of search engine yeah. optimization on it. Yeah. So, Master to something has actually got phone calls. Yeah, I'm sure. Complaining, asking, is this real? Who's this blah, crazy blah. guy? Yeah, it, I mean, I put questions We're down in there. for hyper aerating. Like, uh, yeah, uh, hyper, yeah, <laughs> hyper aerating, hyper, hyper decanting, yeah. So I, I, I made this fake article, just completely spoof article. I think I don't have to take it down. April hasn't gotten here yet. Yeah, so, so maybe look out for something this, this year. But, but he did a real taste test with it, and evidently people could tell the difference. Yeah. Why not? On, on, you know, it's on putting air in it. Yeah, 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 a, I'm sure. It's have a problem, but yeah, with it's, a, that's with all a, it's With a doing. nice box. 
you know. Yeah, a yeah. nice box. A like over 10? <laughs> over 10 of, over sure, 10 we'll, we'll go with 10. Yeah, why not? That's kind of getting up there. But. I think we're going to leave it right there. We should. We're, we're going to have to make, put this to the test. This will be in our Ooh. in an upcoming episode like it. of Blind Taste the Wine Guy. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll see you guys on the next Wine Guy segment. This video was brought to you by Joseph and Curtis, custom wine cellars and wine racks for residential homeowners and commercial clients since 2001. Visit their website at josephandcurtis.com.